Hey friends, hope you're doing well today. Uh, today's video is going to be about something that is in my daily life is something that um, is kind of a rub, you know, and, and it has to do with hard work and letting go, right? So you really got to ask yourself, if you're stuck on something, you're like, I'm not getting that, I'm not getting this, I'm not achieving this, then you're in a state of lack and you know it and you'll still just keep going. So how do you break out of that? One simple way is to really look at, am I trying too hard? Like, is this too hard for me to achieve? Yes, it is too hard. When you're not achieving something, it seems very, very hard. So what can you do to take that hardness into something easy? Well, one of the things that I do is I don't do something if it feels like a lot of work. So what you got to do is go to, some, go, go to a place where you enjoy it your life, right? So if you can get to a place of just enjoying every day and to just go lead with happiness and joy and fulfillment with right now, and I'm not just saying the power of now, like how Eckhart Tolle says, that's a little bit difficult to achieve. And that takes sometimes a lot of practice. But simply in layman's terms, asking yourself, here I am today, what am I doing to make fun today what am I doing when I was a kid growing up I used to be like not caring about the future I wouldn't even think about the past if something happened in the past you know I'd just be like okay it's gone it's done and if something's going to happen in the future you know I wouldn't do that either I wouldn't worry as much about that right when you get older you pick up all these like like layers of issues and baggage and it starts to feel heavy and then life starts to you know, one layer, another layer, another layer, and it starts to pile up and it becomes heavy. Like you're carrying this whole, like whole bunch of layers of metal and it's getting heavier and heavier. Right. And there's a book I read called the night in rusty armor. And it was, it was when that night I let go of everything. It's a short read. I highly recommend it. Um, the night in rusty armor. And basically it's a short read, maybe, I don't know, hundred pages, very short. Cause I'm not good at reading. So I like videos, but basically Let's get back to letting go. When you let go, it sounds very easy. I just got to let go. Letting go with faith is another thing. So what do you do to get yourself into a state of joy? You have to find your purpose, right? Now that sounds heavy, finding your purpose. Well, for me, I found out what my purpose is. And I talk to a lot of people that are successful that we look up to. And I'm sure you do look up to them as well. And they find something that they enjoy. Enjoy means it's joy and you're enjoying it. And look, you're in joy, you're in joy. So when you enjoy something, you really want to focus on having fun, enjoying, and then all those things that you have to do, all that work, all that baggage, that hard work, it will come out. Like things will happen for you. Someone will do something for you. But then you got to keep your eyes open for those miracles. You can't just be sitting here thinking, oh, well, that's a coincidence. Oh, well, I got lucky. Well, if you're going to live off luck and call things luck, that's your choice. I don't choose to leave it up to luck because I'm not a gambler and I don't want to gamble with my life. So it's up to you guys to sit here and procreate, right? Not recreate, procreate and co-create, as Abraham Hicks says, co-creating with the universe. When you're in joy, love, passion, all those emotions, appreciation, you are co-creating with the universe and the universe will use you as a vessel to not only get what you want, but also intertwine with other people's wants. And that's where the beauty is. Because when you get what you want, you know the saying win-win? Well, this is win-win. You get what you want, you connect, you enjoy today. You don't have to wait for that thing. If you're waiting for that thing to enjoy, it's never going to happen. You got to enjoy now. Put yourself in a state of joy. That'll help you let go. Find something you do. And then what? And then you co-create with the universe. Now, guess what? It's win-win. You're connected. You're enjoying. Time doesn't matter. The hows don't matter. And guess what? Nine times out of ten, it's going to affect someone else's life. You're going to impact someone else with what you want. Believe it or not, if you look at it in a way, if, let's say you're buying a new, a brand new car. 
If you do that and you buy it, the person that sold you the car made the commission, the dealership that you bought it from also made money, but it was all attracted, right? Because you walked into a dealership and you felt right about buying that and everything lined up for you. The, the financing, whatever, the money, everything, you know, it's just one of those things. And then you say, oh, well, that's meant to be. Is it meant to be? Or have you created it with your vibe? Because your vibe is everything. So if you put yourself in joy today, you'll have everything you want today, vibrationally, and the physical has to come. Will it come right away? I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. I'd rather be happy waiting for what I want than being sad and grumpy and complaining what I don't have. Because that's just going to attract a whole crap load of other stuff. All right, guys. Hope this helped. Have a great day.